Back in 1992, The Screaming Trees would appear on David Letterman's late night show on NBC before he went to CBS and went head to head with Jay Leno. If you're familiar with Screaming Trees, then you probably would notice that two things were out of place that night. Frontman Mark Lanigan was sporting a black eye and drummer Barrett Martin was not playing with the group on stage. What the hell was going on? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Screaming Trees would emerge out of the Pacific Northwest as part of the so-called grunge movement. Formed in 1984, the band's original lineup would be made up of imposing frontman Mark Lanigan, the Connor Brothers on guitar and bass, and Mark Pickerel on drums. Pickerel would be replaced by skinyard drummer Barrett Martin in 1991. Screaming Trees would soon earn a reputation for being unpredictable and volatile thanks in large part to frontman Mark Lanigan who struggled heavily with addiction. He would sometimes walk off stage during the middle of a show or he'd destroy equipment. The band's commercial peak would happen in 1992 with the record Sweet Oblivion, which featured one of the band's best known tracks, Nearly Lost You. The album would sell nearly 300,000 copies stateside, and the album was helped by the film's singles, which featured the track Nearly Lost You on the film's soundtrack. Apart from appearing on MTV at the time, the band also appeared on late night television, with the group making their network TV debut on October 16, 1992. 24 hours prior to their appearance, the band was in Asbury Park in New Jersey at a bar named The Fast Lane. Despite the band's intimidating stature with the plus-size Connor brothers, Barrett Martin standing over six feet tall, as well as imposing frontman Mark Lanigan, the band stood outside the bar and they soon found themselves coming to blows with some local hooligans. Drummer Barrett Martin would recall in the book Everybody Loves Our Town, it was the four of us, Van and I and Mark and one of our roadies against ten of them. These New Jersey hoods, they had no idea who we were. When all the thugs realized they weren't going to take us, so they just walked away. And the next day we were on Letterman and Lanigan's got this huge black eye and my arm is in a sling, so they had Steve Ferrona play the drums. According to Lanigan's biography Sing Backwards and Weep, he declined the offer from the show's makeup artist to cover up his black eye. Letterman would poke fun at bassist Van Connor's weight during a food segment which aired before the band took the stage, holding up a ham and saying it was trail mix for Screaming Trees. Here's what happened after the band performed on the show. What do you think? Screaming. Yeah. They were great. They were screaming. They're from Seattle. Yeah. What? But I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I was kind of scared. <laughs> yourself. Here you go. Whatever you like. Help yourself. Right over there. Thank you. Uh, my thanks also to uh, Jeff Goldblum. You folks have a lovely weekend. We'll see you next week. Thanks for being here. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again in Rock and Roll Your Stories. Take care.